Broadcast Network, After Buzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries, and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! One, two, three, Jimmy Steve! <laughs> about time it's about Yay. time oh my god we got Ooh. it in this episode and in case you can't tell we're talking about Dusty <laughs> because he made his appearance finally after Yay. like an entire season pretty much mm -hmm. oh my gosh such a good episode hey guys what's going on <laughs> we're so excited we're, we're so, so excited so we're probably gonna be a little all over the place today um, but welcome back to our after show for Shameless. My name is Joyce. I'll be your host for tonight. If you're watching us, it probably means you're subscribed. But if you're not subscribed and you just showed up on this video, please click that subscribe button so every single week you can come back and see our Shameless after shows. And we talk all things Shameless on and off the show. Speaking of off the show, you guys can catch us on Twitter, on our social media. You guys can catch me on J Ajuri at Twitter. That's J A J O U R I. And I'm joined by my wonderful hosts. JJ, what's going on? Hey guys, how are you? And you can follow me at JJ Jorgens. Cool. And Hi Haley. everyone, I'm Haley Clover. You can follow me on Twitter at Haley Clover. Yeah, so be sure to you know chat us up on Twitter and everything. We always like to respond and talk to you guys on YouTube and on Twitter. Yes. And all yeah, that and stuff. you commenters, whoever was making <laughs> fun of my cold sore last week. I know where you live, and I'm gonna go a little Debs on your ass. <laughs> we need we need to address exactly. Let's address this right here, right it's now. It's awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm a Gallagher. I have herpes. What can I say? <laughs> I had a cold sore. <laughs> That's it. That, that lipstick would not cover it up, so I just had to do it. The show must go the on. The show must go on. If you, if you guys awesome. needed proof that we read your comments, this is the yeah. proof. So, that was so funny. That was really funny. But anyway, it's good that we, we have this medium to like talk about that yes. stuff. Yes. All right, let's get started on this episode, Rite of Passage, Season 5, mm -hmm. Episode 5. Holy crap. We can awesome. get to Jimmy Steve later. We already mentioned him at the top of the show. But let's go into, let's start off with Debs right now. Mm -hmm. um, we get her, you know, still learning the ropes with boxing and, and she's kind of a regular at the gym now, right? Mm -hmm. Love her. Love seeing her be like so, you know, strong and being the, the strong girl who wants to kick ass. She's and it's just so totally. fun to see. Yeah, she just, it's, it's really fun to watch. Well, and she's going to start working there now so that she can continue to go to the mm -hmm. gym without having to pay yeah. uh, for a membership, which mm -hmm. is great. It's going to be fun to see I mean, she's not getting paid, but she's getting paid in lessons, which is great. Uh -huh. Exactly. So she's going to learn to defend herself. Um, and then we see her do that later when she runs yeah. into Ellie and Holly. <laughs> Ellie has her baby and I think it's so funny that she has her at school she's at school with the yeah, kid right but they're at school right when they're sitting on the stairs her and Carl they're at I, the pool I think yeah or maybe was they the were pool? at the school or then park? and then later they oh were that's at the right because it's summer vacation <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't yeah. be at school yeah that I think makes they sense. were sitting on the pool never mind yeah. and it was really funny because Carl um <laughs> Carl <laughs> said well Debbie said to Carl you hooked up with those girls or you know and he was like yeah, it was fine once he got past the C. The uh, C section yeah. scar. Yeah. scar I lost it. <laughs> oh my God, he's so crazy. Yeah. So funny. He's but there's getting, some, good. He, I'm just saying he's getting his experience in. I don't know. He's been, he's, by the time he's like 15, he'll have a really nice track record of the types <laughs> oh, of women yeah. he's been with. <laughs> yes, for sure. But it, it's so funny. It's so funny seeing these two like team up though, because it's like we see him not do well at the drug dealing, you know, and they're calling him Beebs and all this. <laughs> That is, you know, so I think it's funny. great. So then it's fun to see him come over here with devs and they're like, okay, like how are we going to run the game on these guys? You know, so to, to basically make money off of her then kicking their asses yeah. is just hilarious. And it's so funny because they all bet against her too and yeah. then she comes up and kicks the shit out uh -huh. of those girls. Good I mean, for it was devs. So funny. And this is a good way for them to have brother-sister bonding time. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, yeah, maybe go on their own business, you know, get him out of the drug yeah. scene. I'm proud of her. Like, I'm proud of the growth that Debs has had this this season so far. I think she's gotten a lot stronger and, and she's coming into her own mm -hmm. in, a, in a new way. But I'm wondering though, like... Like uh, Fiona mentioned to her before, you know, I thought you were going to be bigger than all of this. Like, do you think Debs is, you know, learning to fight for the right reasons? I mean, I know she <laughs> she lives in Southside Chicago. It's not the most 
safe place you kind of have to know how to hold your own yeah but do you think she really needs to to act that way i i don't i mean i don't think she does i i i I think it's gonna grow to where i think she needed to get this do that to those girls i don't think she's gonna start doing that like on the streets i mean who knows it's shameless she could she very could but i think she'll train like maybe more as a fighter, you know, and maybe get paid in the ring, but not. Well, she does talk about uh, wanting to find steroids. Oh, <laughs> so yes. We do see true. her asking about how much they cost. Yeah. And we have a funny joke about how she'll get an enlarged clitoris from Ian, you know, just really, <laughs> yeah. really funny stuff. But She's like, I don't I, care. <laughs> I actually think that it made her feel so good that she is going to start, um, you know, fighting more or just, you know, now thinking it's not that big of a deal if something yeah. happens and she just like punches someone in the face. So fighting more anywhere. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. And and she had Fiona as an example a couple episodes back, you know, how they were at that at the bar bar yeah. watching Gus play uh, or watching the band play on stage and she got into a random fight with some stranger. Like that kind of stuff is the norm for Debs and she's just now actually acting on all that stuff. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm hoping. Yeah, you're both you're both right. It very well could go that way. I I like to see because I thought at the very end when we see her talking to Sammy, um, she to me looked the most like beautiful she ever has. Like she was in her workout gear. She's strong, feminine, but then she. Um, you know, had her makeup on, but what it mm-hmm. wasn't, but we talked about before when she went through the makeup scene, how it was like too much and yeah. it was too, and this was like toned back, but just, I thought it was a good balance that showed her like, you know, still trying to now be more girly, but then also, um, you know, get, being strong and being a fighter. So I'm right. kind of hoping that yeah. she just like gets into this training and wants to kind of like competitively box and then has a little fling with cool. this, yeah. this guy at the gym. Well, I like I was him. Say, I think for why she started all of this and working at the gym was because of him yeah at first totally. you know, i don't think it was yeah. a- actually self-defense but, but thanks to him sure. like she's gonna yeah. find herself in in all these aspects i mean she might tone down the fighting she's toning down the makeup already mm-hmm. and maybe she, things will go really well with the guy at the gym maybe you know once she calms down with her urges to fight hopefully she won't get on steroids yeah. Um, but I think she's, <laughs> she's finally... That would look so that weird. That would be so right? strange. Yeah. I hope that doesn't happen. But she's definitely going to have that balance, like you said, and, and just kind of come come into herself. Mm-hmm. She's going to grow into herself mm-hmm. very well. Yeah. So I think this is Deb's season. Me too. Despite the whole Maddie thing, the whole rape thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she's over yeah. it. Which I'm surprised they haven't really addressed the past couple of episodes. It's just kind of been a joke. It's just kind of been brushed off. But we haven't really heard Maddie's side of that really mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so other than you know their encounter in the park mm-hmm. but that's fine um we'll probably see more of that later <laughs> yeah yeah um but we mentioned Debs and Carl t- you know sitting together and like he he bet on his sister and everything but we also see Carl still dealing the drugs um he's still dressing up mm-hmm. incorrectly yeah. despite his studying yeah and he's and still his cheat sheet on his exactly <laughs> what did they call it um uh, oh my gosh I forgot right. what he called it the guy, the guy that he's working for. Anyway. I can't remember what he called oh, it. Yeah, there, it's sorry, like his little Tom Brady, though. Like right yeah, there, you know. Exactly. <laughs> Had to throw that little Patriots uh, shout out That's in there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all right. You're allowed. They won. <laughs> they won. Sorry. <laughs> Super Bowl. <laughs> um, but poor Carl, he just can't get it right. He doesn't. He doesn't get the numbers. Mm-hmm. I mean, you Not, can tell he's a little mm-hmm. disappointed too because he he's like, I finally tried, I studied, and then he does it wrong. And he's like, well, yeah. shit, like I really did try. So we'll Math s- is not yeah. a strong suit. And I think it <laughs> hurt when the guy just said he was dumb, you know? Yeah. Like, and he still owes him 100 bucks. <laughs> yeah. Which is probably going to get really dangerous later on. I mean, mm-hmm. I don't think Carl's going to continue doing this for a long time. I think he's just going to want to stop, but he won't understand that he can't just get out of this. Yeah, I think mm-hmm. that's a good, yeah. good prediction. Do you guys think he's going to mm-hmm. take... I don't know. How how much longer are we going to see him try to get this right before he just quits? I don't know. He either <sighs> becomes really, really good at it now that he like got it wrong and he's mad at himself, or he, yeah. like you said, totally yeah. just quits and then finds himself with some enemies. Because he but seems to be know. going from... It could go either way. Mm-hmm. He seems to be going from one way of making money to the other pretty quickly. Right. So he might just think this is one of those things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We don't really see too much of Carl this episode. Just mm-hmm. a couple of those scenes where he's dealing drugs and getting dressed up all preppy and everything. But he's getting better. His leg is getting much better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's pretty much it with Carl. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have also uh, another one of the siblings. Lip is still in the episode, still mm-hmm. here in town. Yeah. Um, he had kind of a crazy mm-hmm. show today. 
I don't know. Makes me nervous. Makes me nervous. He's struggling. We know that him. We know that him and Mickey are kind of like Mickey's kind of like egging him on. Like you're not self side. You're not as self side as me. Or basically, he's what is he? He's Mickey's bitter at, at Lip for contributing to the gentrification of South Side Chicago because we know that they're trying to like uproot all the mm-hmm. mom and pop businesses or the old homes and stuff and make it look nicer and build things like Starbucks and whatnot. Yeah. So Mickey's like, look what you're turning into. Like you're not South Side, and, and Lip is like, watch me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I think this all uh, stems from Mickey's anger when he finds out that Ian yeah. goes home with of someone course. from the club that night. So he walks into the bar and he's just pissed off. And starts a fight for no reason with Lip. And that's when they get into the whole, you know, peer pressure thing. And Lip's like, Mm -hmm. you know, he goes. And you can tell he doesn't want to because, um, like we were talking about when we were watching, he doesn't actually shoot the gun when he, you know, when they're there. You can tell he doesn't want to do it but doesn't want to look like a total, you know, loser. Yeah, exactly. So do you think, do you guys think, because they don't show us, do you think he went back and got the gun after he was out of the dumpster Ooh. or did he leave the gun and now his prints are going to be on there? And he left the gun. I think he left too. the gun too. They, they were, were yelling, get the gun! Just go I, get the I gun! I feel like if he were to get the gun, they would have shown that. I don't mm-hmm. know. I mean, it, it doesn't seem it's like Lip to be, you know, that, um, like he's too smart to leave the gun. Yeah. But at the same time, like, I think he was he just wanted to get out of there. Mm-hmm. Right. He just wanted to leave that whole scene. But I was thinking about his fingerprints, too. I was like, what are you doing? Get the gun. I don't mm-hmm. know. But I was scared for him because I kept thinking he's going to get arrested. This is going to be a bad season for Liv. He yeah. can't go back to school. Well, I do yeah. like that he decided to leave uh, summer break early and go mm-hmm. back to school so that he could kind of get himself back on track, maybe into a schedule. And uh, I, I think he's actually excited about going back to school. Yeah. Starting classes again. I think so, too. And I and I think this was kind of the sign for him, too, that, that he doesn't belong there anymore, you know, that he doesn't want to be a part of that. And he's yeah. kind of like, okay, yeah. It's I, changed I back, a little like, bit. Yeah. Definitely. Mm-hmm. That, that whole moment was a wake-up call for him. Mm-hmm. And then when he goes to say goodbye to Fiona, there's that scene where he kind of just looks at the house, you know, after she walked away. It's like what is this place yeah. like I don't want to be here anymore this is not where I feel comfortable anymore mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. the people you know just the whole city in general it brings them down yeah you know it's all the craziness too all the time yeah so much craziness and also we know that Mickey goes over to um Lip and asks him about the psychiatric assessment yeah. doctor I think that's the term I could have it wrong um but mickey's another interesting storyline today mm-hmm. him and ian you know are getting further and further apart as they as the season goes on which is really sad it is yeah. but um we talked about last week how ian or how mickey kind of feels like he's in over his head with this whole ian situation mm-hmm. trying to take care of him and trying to learn more about um his bipolar disorder Mm -hmm. and trying to see how he could help him but it's not working and then today we kind of see ian going to one of his manic highs Mm -hmm. even more than before it's pretty sad and it finally gets to that point for um nikki then when he's like yeah you know it's like that that scene when he tells him that he's sick and he's to pack his stuff and yeah she's like, i mean there's they're so fun to watch those two together yeah um but yeah i mean it was it's it was really tough to watch him have to go through go along this journey with ian to get to the point you know when he finally has to admit that he has a problem that he can't help him with and that yeah. he's got to get out of there and, and deal with it but you know, and just uh, that basically, you know, that Ian comes home and has done a porno and doesn't see yeah. anything being wrong with that. Didn't use and a condom to, yeah. and and I mean, Mickey didn't... and only gets six hundred dollars for it. Yeah. I mean, come on, yeah. don't sell yourself <laughs> short, man. <laughs> really, though, six hundred dollars. Yeah. I mean, quick ca- quick cash <laughs> is quick cash, but that's nothing for porno. I mean, at least yeah. I, I would... <laughs> <laughs> um, that a girl, that, that a girl. So I, I would know. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. I'm assuming. <laughs> what but comments again... do you have for us this <laughs> yes. week on YouTube? Someone, yeah. Yeah. please write your comments. Someone below. write your comments below. What... <laughs> <laughs> Comment on what I just said. Um, well, it's not Chatsworth, I'll tell you that. It's Southside Chicago. I don't know. Maybe maybe the industry is like, you know. I don't know. That guy. is a little different. That guy looked like he had quite a bit of money. I think, I mean, he could have forked, for, for, forked out a lot At more than 600 bucks yeah. for, for a point. Yeah. Um, Fifteen hundred. That's yeah. the going rate. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, for, for a couple of hours, that's pretty good. Fifteen hundred bucks. Easy, easy money. And moving on. <laughs> <laughs> moving on. Before I say anything else. Um, but yeah, I mean, Mickey didn't really know. Mickey didn't know Ian was cheating, you know, 
at the beginning of the season and today he finally realizes like oh shit like this is happening mm-hmm. um and he gets all pissed and i love how when he was beating up one of ian's co-workers he was saying <laughs> ian's name He's like, I fucking came back for you, Ian. Like, you should fucking cheat on me, Ian. I didn't like, even notice that. Yeah, yeah. we can hear that part really well in there. Yeah, I think he was he was sort of talking to Ian and taking it out on that guy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, that's that's what I got from it. It's yeah. Like, he's not gonna t- he's not gonna touch Ian that way anymore. Like, they don't beat each other up like they used to. Yeah. So he's gotta take it out on some other guy, and you know, and and then he takes it out on Ian a little bit. After he, you know, hits him against the wall and is like, go see a doctor. Mm-hmm. But I love how when he did that, Mickey's hand was on Ian's heart. Like, did you notice yeah. it was on his left side? I, I don't know if maybe I'm reading too much into it. It, seems, <laughs> it sounds kind of corny. But it's like these two, these two are so perfect for each other. And to see, like, it just showed how heartbroken Mickey mm-hmm. was to hear about all that stuff. Um but yeah, yeah, made me really sad. It's uh, it's sad how it all ended up playing out too with uh, Ian taking, you know, pretending he's in the shower, taking Mickey's baby and yeah. leaving, yeah. running what's, off. What's his kid's name? Uh, Yev Yevgeny. <laughs> Some, I don't even know. really uh, a, a Russian name that I don't know how to pronounce properly. Right. So right. I think it's Yevgeny. Um, that that kid has gone and kidnapped. That was really scary. And I said, what yeah. is with Gallagher's taking babies? I don't yeah. know. Because we didn't see that part coming. We were like, well, he's either, we thought, definitely either going to run or we thought do some harm to himself yeah. in the bathroom. Right. But then we didn't see the taking the baby. Coming. I thought he was going to hurt himself in the uh, bathroom too. And I'm like, how did he go from the bathroom to the front of the house? And then um, to see him take the baby, I was like, I, I knew he was taking care of the kid with Svetlana a little bit, but I didn't see him as that attached yeah for that kid to be the first thing that he would run off with mm-hmm. i don't know well and who knows maybe he's doing it so that mickey has to look for him you know he True. doesn't totally want yeah. to be alone or want to be away but it's just uh maybe i don't a know cry for help yeah. Yeah. a major yeah. cry for help yeah. without him even realizing mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. oh man poor mickey he's got a lot to deal with he does he, he does and he will have an angry uh Oh yeah, wife. Mm, yes, mother <laughs> yeah. comes back. Child, Which we might see a little mama. more her crazy. She's been pretty normal for the last couple of weeks, Svetlana. so we might see some, yeah <laughs> that craziness come back yeah. out. Not a woman I would mess with. Nope, not at all. She uh-huh. knows she knows how to handle her stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, speaking of Ian and Mickey, there was a really great lengthy um, interview article on BuzzFeed between uh, Noel Fisher, between Cameron Monaghan and one of the writers, Eitan, of the show. Um, They talked about how Mickey and Ian are written and how the two actors, sometimes they don't even go by what's on the script. Sometimes they don't even say what's on the script because you know how they have really meaningful looks on screen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes they just put those in there and that's what makes them so such a good couple on screen and you know they were voted best gay couple on tv mm-hmm. and this is one of the reasons is because they have so much room to play and so much room mm-hmm. to sort of um make the script their own and make the scenes their own so it's a really cool mm-hmm. article so if you have a chance to read it um it might take a while but it's it's a good read they're awesome. great that's, yeah, yeah that's cool mm-hmm. i'll have to read that i didn't see that one yeah i like them they're awesome. Um, also, who's awesome is Kev for forgiving oh. me. He forgave her for what she did. Yeah. That Kev's the well, best. I, I love that. I saw that coming. Yeah. You know, it was... I, I thought they would have to do, like, I mean, he still has to do something to, to keep that going, but I thought it would take a little longer for him to forgive her. I had a feeling he would probably be, you know, he's Kev. He's just the best yeah i had a feeling he might let her off the hook yeah he loves her so much he does and that's why he let a woman give him a hand job because well, he he asked asked him. Him. she like forces she him forced to him. saying you know this is what needs to be done so that we can get over it and you can get back at me then we'll be even yeah um watching the first <laughs> yes watching him at the park is oh, hilarious so out of practice <laughs> yeah. my favorite favorite part of the entire show today he is such a creepy pedophile yeah. when he's talking to this woman at the park watching her son oh, yeah. play and he's like he says stuff like well i mean i've bathed with my daughters but that's not weird right because they're only eight but my wife old. thinks it's weird because they see me naked but they're not gonna remember what my dick looks like when <laughs> and then she pepper awesome. sprays him yeah i didn't see that coming 
<laughs> it's awesome. I didn't think she was gonna pepper spray him for saying that, but I, I don't I like laugh. kids. I, yeah, yeah. Not like Jerry Sandusky. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> just like he kept going. He's so funny. I laughed so hard watching it by myself <laughs> when when he got pepper sprayed. He's like, "What the hell? I just want to get a hand job <laughs> yeah. for my wife." <laughs> right. I loved it. It was such a great scene. It's but then so even, the, even the girl he ends up uh, getting one from is funny. They're, yeah. They put the whole patriotic. Yeah, spin on the and hand was, job. was he humming the yes, Star yes. Banner? <laughs> oh my he god, he absolutely was. Yes, <laughs> poor Kev. <laughs> well, V thought this would sort of fix things and make it even because she felt so guilty. Mm-hmm. And when Kev came home after getting the handy J from the girl, she, it didn't make her feel yeah, better. Of course, she cries. And mm-hmm. and right poor, yeah. poor Kev. And I have to say. Like I know, girls do the whole like I'm gonna test him out thing. She did test him, and ah, he, yeah, I mean he he wanted to make things right because he forgave her. It's not a problem. Like he was re- ready to move on, and then he comes home and he's like, I knew it. I knew it wasn't gonna be okay. And poor V starts crying, and just it's not yeah. better for her. At I all. mean, sure he could have said <clears throat> no, but she was pretty adamant on the fact that she yeah. wanted him yeah. to get a hand job from some random girl as long as she didn't know who he was. So I'm putting the blame on V. I on am. This one. Me yeah. too. I think any other girl than V, you would definitely call BS on it. You know yeah. that she was she would do something like that. Right. V is one that I would think no that she would not let him back into the house until he made <laughs> he things a equal. Hand job. And, yeah, even if she yes. had to be there and watch it be done, I, have, yeah. I would feel like she would. I mean, you know what she says. He had sex with means. her mom for. I was gonna <laughs> yeah. say that. I was gonna say it should have been even. Due to that fact, you know, yeah. I mean, he had. Well, actually, she made him do that too. Right. So it's yeah, exactly. Like she makes him do stuff, yeah. and now she's mad. So and now she's mad. This is the straw that broke the camel's yeah. back. Well, it just shows how much she's struggling. You know how yeah. hard this is for her, and how she really is just you know missing her old life and the old relationship that they had together, yeah. and feeling sexual, and you know the fun that they had, and right. not, not really finding her place or the happiness that she thought yeah. she would. Well, with, and it's with sad this. to see when they're uh, arguing <clears throat> at the end. The mm-hmm. you know their two daughters start to cry and Kev immediately you know father instincts kick in he's gonna go and comfort the kids and she's like if you leave and go upstairs like I'm leaving and he's saying if I go and you know help our crying children you're gonna leave yeah walks right upstairs which is exactly what he should have done I thought that was yeah I agree I I mean her to even ask it's like I mean I know she didn't really she didn't really think that this is the life she was going to have. She didn't want the kids as much as Kevin did. But, like, this is the card that you've been dealt now at this point. And you're growing further apart from your husband. To me, I kind of want V to to work with Kevin on this mm-hmm. and to do this with him so that they're at least still together, you know, taking care of the kids and struggling together. Uh, right. Instead of her just pushing him further away. I mean, I don't... I wish I could say that I don't think she's gonna leave but i think she's left i kind of think so too i think she walked out and i feel like it's awful but she needs to just grow up a little bit yeah she's got kids i know but yeah and i mean to to make a make put him in the situation where he's out getting a hand job and she's with you know a kid a baby in a bar yeah you know yeah Yeah. i know it's it's sad I, i don't know where she could possibly go but I think if she leaves, and this gets in prediction territory, but that's going to leave Kevin in charge of making money and taking care of the mm-hmm. kids, which is going probably not going to go over well for him, and he's not going to forgive me for that. So, yeah. but mm-hmm. I just think it's mm-hmm. you know it's it's funny how in true Kevin V fashion that's how they sort of solve their problems. Yeah, yeah. So that's how she makes him solve their problems. Um, but also in uh, uh, also in true fashion of. For Frank and um, oh boy, <laughs> his storyline today, <laughs> Frank, Frank, like that. It's so Frank to do that. Oh yeah, to do what he did. I mean, he. he this was even better. This episode was even better, you know, for me than the money losing the money episode. Oh yeah, I totally agree. I, I yeah. agree too. Love this weird storyline where he has David's liver and the dad who is so the creepy. The poor dad. The yeah. poor guy. He's so creepy but like thinks that it's actually David because his liver is in Frank yeah, and lets I him know. stay at the house and He's even not... asks him to call him dad yeah. at one point. I Wants mean, to play is... catch, tucks him in. It's strange. I mean, he, the, so the, funny. The, David is not not or not david david's a son wade is not handling the death of his child well at all i mean he feels so guilty for for not being there for not yeah. protecting his kid 
So this is just his way of, of coping, which is not a healthy way, at least yeah. to me. I don't think, I mean, it's, it's not a normal way. He's definitely coping. changed since his kid passed away. And clearly we know that because his wife, Laura, is saying like, not only did I lose my kid that day, but I also lost my husband. So mm-hmm. we know that Wade was not like this before. So he's gotten creepy. <laughs> right. For sure. I think, again, it's like such great writing, though, because it's like they, they have all these situations that normally you would be like, OK, now they're doing what? You know, but it's like the writing is just done so well. So, you know, to, to see him then get a save, you know, Frank's life by getting stabbed you know by Sammy and, and feel so proud because <laughs> yeah. he wasn't there for his own son before during the home invasion and it's just he's like I, I did it yeah, yeah. it's like he, he's looking for every form of redemption for himself whether it's playing catch with Frank or yeah. having Frank stay at the house or stabbing <laughs> stabbing or you know saving Frank from getting stabbed by Sammy I mean that's his way of making himself feel better it was funny cool. watching though because like when we watched together and you you called out she's like oh she's gonna bone him and I was like well that's like <laughs> Boning her son, and I'm like, oh well, she doesn't think the same well, as. Well, there and you go. Sure enough, they, right, I was like, like oh, <laughs> they did it. Yeah, there you go. Well, the best, yeah, when he was like, I did it. I saved our son, and she's like, that's not our son, and he's like, yes, it is. And then she's like, well, then I fucked our son. Yeah. And it's just like he's like, what? awesome. She goes, it was he's great. Not our son. Yeah, <laughs> it was a it was a great scene. Mm-hmm. And then, well, speaking of Sammy, she, she runs after Frank because the whole episode, Frank was telling her, uh, "I got you a new." Uh, um, a new trailer. I was going to surprise you. And Sammy's all getting ready to put that trailer in Fiona's backyard. Um, but when Sammy finds out that there's no money, there's no trailer, that's when she goes and, you know, gets to Frank and tries to beat him up. Yeah. Um, oh my gosh, she's going to be such a terror. Well, we as the audience know <clears throat> she's never getting a trailer. No, I mean, of course yeah. not. She doesn't know that, which is why it's yeah. so funny. It made me think of Poor Sheila, though. Like, if Sheila ever comes back, she has the RV. So I wonder, you know, I don't know where Sheila's going to go. I did but... read, um, I was reading up on Twitter, looking at a bunch of different uh, Twitter accounts, and somebody tweeted that she will not be in the rest of this season. Oh. So hopefully Ooh. they're wrong, because yeah. I love Sheila, but I read that she, yeah, she won't be in the rest of this season. Okay. But, you know. She'll do a Jimmy Steve knows? on us. No. She'll come back. Maybe she'll she's... come back at the last episode. Jimmy Steve. I see. She's still bringing Karen. Oh, Yeah. Yeah, that was your prediction. I, I think yeah. so too. I want to get it right. Well, maybe maybe they'll post up. Right, maybe they'll post up and live in her RV, and Sammy's gonna fight her for it. <laughs> right, exactly. It's gonna be so RV sad. Wars. <laughs> well, um, also in the episode, uh, Sammy is being told off by Deb, saying like, you know, you'll get used to it. The first yeah. time you get wronged by Frank is the hardest, but don't worry, you'll get used to it. Yeah. Um, but no, I don't think yeah, she's gonna the get Gallagher used to right it. Of yeah. passage. Oh, those mm-hmm. Gallagher's. Gallagher's always doing crazy funny <laughs> stuff. Um, but speaking of which, we have Fiona today who, you know, we saw her sort of question her marriage to Gus for the mm-hmm. first time. I mean, she we're, she's under the illusion, not illusion, I think she really is happy with him. Um, but she's afraid that she made a huge mistake and she tells mm-hmm. him this. And I didn't even think of this, but even he was like, don't you think I'm thinking the same yeah. thing? Like, I'm freaking, I'm... Sh- you know, scared shitless too. We both had, had a the, sigh in that moment. We were Aww. like, hi, ah, we just love him. You know, it's he had like the best reaction. Yeah. He yeah. was like, you know what? And if this was the biggest mistake we ever made, let's have the most fun and we can have. Big yeah. Fucking yeah. fun mistake. Exactly. Yeah. Which I, I think <clears throat> it is why I like him with her. Like, I think just that response like that is just so to balance her you know craziness and these feelings that she feels that make her want to run or do the crazy stuff that the chaos that she you know yeah. enjoys it's just i like he was there to ground her gives you know in, up giving her a big He's hug no stress. and just like no, no yeah. drama and make I, it easy no drama, just yeah. day by day i yeah. think he understands her too i mean why else would he say something like that mm-hmm. to ease her like he knows how to calm her down i mean he's feeling the same way he's not afraid to say it he's mm-hmm. not afraid to be like hey we probably did make a big mistake then they tried to trick us with the needle with him at the beginning where he, oh, yeah. he where he he's shoot, diabetic. yeah he's diabetic oh yeah that's yeah. true that's true at first i was like oh no, yeah no, it, can't, <laughs> it can't be um, but that scene was cool because obviously they don't know each other well at all. Mm-hmm. She doesn't even know his middle name, which she made up and said it was Wendell, yeah. which is so funny. <laughs> um, but they're still learning a lot about each other. And she clearly doesn't know about music. She didn't know what mm-hmm. he was talking about when he said eagle. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite Bald. eagle? <laughs> I, I wouldn't have thought that. I wouldn't have guessed he was talking about the band. <laughs> but... Um, <laughs> 
But yeah, they have a lot to learn about each other. And I think it'll be nice this season for them to do that. Hopefully, Jimmy Steve won't stop them. Oh, he's oh totally totally hopefully he will. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, we see, what's her name? We see Angie come back to mm-hmm. the diner. And Fiona's still, like, on her marriage high. Like, she's got a real ring now. Yeah. Flashing it here at the restaurant. And we see Angie, like, oh, my God. Like, she got married. Because mm-hmm. we we figured out, and thanks to a lot of our viewers, yeah. they said that mm-hmm. Angie's asking questions to Fiona for Jimmy Steve. Right. And, um... You know, when she finds out that Fiona got married, she's probably thinking, like, oh, should I got to tell him? Yeah. And this time I actually noticed, I thought she did look out the window, too. So I got the feeling this time that he was out in the car, Ooh. like, mm-hmm. you know, watching Fair, this. Because yeah. she kind of was, like, her face dropped with that ring. And then I felt like, like he she is not going to like this news. Yeah, like, oh, <clears throat> no. Yeah. Yeah. But and he like, didn't. he's waited too long. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I liked her. I liked the way that their conversation flowed. How she's like, I was in Tokyo. I work in jewelry. And looks like you don't have a shortage of that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, she's very smooth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'd want her to come back and tip me 100 bucks every time. <laughs> um, but I like her character a lot. Um, mm-hmm. I think hopefully she'll she'll play a bigger role as the season goes on. But um, I think she's probably... I think she's going to you think she's done so yeah i think she was the you know the connection yeah exactly and then makes sense and uh once he comes back we can already see you know in the scenes for next week that um things are already dramatic again and confusing and yeah i just want to know how jimmy steve is connected to angie or like who she is to him and like maybe she could help us figure out and learn what he's been doing this whole time right or maybe Mm -hmm. he was just paying her maybe who knows yeah Mm -hmm. it's jimmy steve yep (laughs) i can't believe he's back you guys it's all it was only a matter of time it was only a matter of time oh man my notes i know you guys can't see this but i got (laughs) jimmy steve like as big as i possibly could i was like yeah it's so crazy i thought they were gonna make us wait a little bit longer so i was so happy (laughs) yes yeah I'm really happy mm-hmm. too. It's about time. We we need yeah. some craziness. I mean, Fiona's trying to live a normal life, but you know, it's only a matter of time before things yeah. get shaken up. <laughs> um, poor girl. <laughs> poor poor girl. Um, but we see Gus like really trying to be there for her. Um, um, she wasn't home when she was going to make the announcement to her family that she was married because she still hadn't told them yet. Um, but then we find out that her coworker Jackie, who was supposed to get her daughter back from a foster care, um, she was clean for six months. She was on heroin. Mm-hmm. Um, she's been clean, so she was in the process of getting her daughter back. But she, you know, went home, shot up, and OD'd. And turns out she's really not going to get her kid back. Mm-hmm. Thankfully, Jackie didn't die. But yeah. I liked how Gus wasn't upset at Fiona for, instead of telling her family, you know, going to tend to Jackie and making sure she was okay. I like how this gave us more of Sean, too. Oh, yeah. Like, I felt kind of last episode, I didn't really like all of a sudden he was just kind of in the, in the back burner. I thought well, that jealous. was weird. <laughs> yeah, but it was like, it just kind of was just such a quick turn from them having this attraction. And stuff. Mm-hmm. So I liked that it was those two at the mm-hmm. hospital. And I like seeing that moment where we find out more about him and find out that it was his son that found him on the floor yeah. when he was five in his own vomit. And like, I thought it was a good way for those two characters to, like, to bring that back a little bit more. And, yeah, and then, I agree. You know, and the look in, in, in Fiona's eyes when he did ask her what his middle name was and stuff. Stuff. And you know she had that like she can't BS him. No, you know? you know so it's just a very real, real moment where she was scared watching her friend, you know, being there, you know, still having this weird kind of connection with him, and then mm-hmm. scared about what she is doing with Gus, yeah. and knowing that the sky is, you know, they, that, they, that he might be right that she likes to do these chaotic, weird things. Yeah, I was gonna say his backstory today really put more weight on his his um, lash out to Fiona a while back Mm -hmm. about how he's like I love chaos like I love these things about crazy girls and about crazy things people do like it turns him on and it leads him down a path a dangerous path that you know he doesn't want his son to see Mm -hmm. him in again so it it was good to see him open up to Fiona that way and to see more of their dynamic they know each other well he seems to really know Fiona too and so yeah and I think make Fiona look too that like yeah she's not doing you know heroin or drugs but she's also <clears throat> just married somebody that she's not telling her family about and hiding and doing radical things yeah she still always likes to do do things like that yeah I'm glad she has someone as level-headed as as Sean 
um, to sort of turn to mm-hmm. and be a good friend because V is not really available at the moment. <laughs> so yeah. it's nice to have to have Sean in the picture. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I don't know. I mean, anything else you guys want to add about Jimmy Steve? I mean, it's, it's a huge, he was only I on think screen. he'll be our predictions. It's, exactly. Right? Uh-huh. He will I, uh, be our predictions. I predict that she cheats on <laughs> Gus. Oh, Can we gosh. predict his bare buns right returning again sometime soon? <laughs> They're still in the opening credits. They're I know, still in I know. Credits. Um, but before we move on to predictions, JJ, you said you had some news and gossip. You yeah, to share? I just th- uh, you were talking about articles earlier. There was another great article in the Hollywood Reporter with um, Emmy, and she was talking about which I, I didn't realize about her. She was saying how the storyline with Gus kind of. Um, is true to her own her own life that uh how she was quickly married to um i forget his first name but siegel and then that um that nobody knew that they were even married until they split and so so i thought that was interesting how she's you know arts imitating life right now for her and and how she can draw from that that's true she was married very young for a short while i think Mm -hmm. he was a producer Mm -hmm. definitely in the film industry yes i believe so. i could be wrong but yeah that's so true i didn't even think about that yeah Oh, it's a cool connection. But yeah, they weren't married yeah. very long, and it's this just said that he requested spousal rep- support during the divorce too. So I have a feeling it wasn't like the most amicable, amicable of splits. things that someone's going to do something. Yeah, but but yeah, I just thought that was interesting. Um, they also uh, a little spoiler in that article. She had mentioned that Sean's kid will. Um, like resurface Show too. Up. Oh, yeah. cool. So will we'll see if that's will true or not? Up. But yeah. yeah. Um, and she was live tweeting during the um, last episode, I believe. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't read this any of that too. stuff. This episode too? Yeah. I'm sure she's got some good stuff to say. So check out her Twitter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> at Emmy Rossum. Um, all yeah, right, it's let's... cool to see their thoughts. Yeah. yeah. As the show goes on. I think so too. Definitely. They give mm-hmm. us a little more insight onto what you know mm-hmm. what yeah. happened during those scenes. For sure. Um, all right. Let's move on to predictions. We got some good ones, I think. Okay. We got the lights first. We'll do our own sounds. God, and I, I had one where we were talking well, and I didn't write it down and I knew I was gonna forget. Those spooky prediction um, sounds didn't pop up, but that's okay. We we can continue. JJ, mm-hmm. go on. What do you have? No, I for, you gotta go oh, first. Okay. I okay. had I, one and then I forgot. I kind of already said mine. Uh, Jimmy Steve's gonna screw everything up. Um, hopefully. <laughs> and, we need it. Mm-hmm. Well, you can already see in the scenes for next week that he's kissing on her neck and saying things in her ear. And, yep. you know, she's... That first love it just doesn't go away, right? Yeah. So we'll... Uh, Especially yeah. a, with someone who kind of lent himself to her chaotic lifestyle or maybe gave her that chaotic lifestyle that she likes so much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What mm-hmm. about you? Yeah. Um, well, I I think it's going definitely gonna spice things up with for Fiona too. Um, Jimmy Steve's gonna fight for Fiona, and Gus is gonna fight for Fiona. So there's gonna be this sort of weird um, like love triangle, and I don't think Gus is gonna let her go that easy, despite the fact that he said this episode that you know if it was a mistake, so be it. Um, but I think you know once he sees Jimmy come along and and act the way he does around Fiona, Gus is gonna step in and fight for her. Perhaps it'll get physical. Perhaps someone will die. I don't know. I hope that doesn't <laughs> Big happen. Big prediction. Um, and I also think, you know, Debs was telling Sammy to sort of just accept Frank's, you know, shenanigans and the way he treats her. I don't think Sammy's going to accept it. I think she's going to cause terror and be a huge terror in his life and hurt him and stuff. Um, but definitely not make his life easy. Mm-hmm. E- e- de- at least not as easy mm-hmm. as it is now, which right. isn't very easy, but harder all right i'm agreeing with you ladies i can't remember the one that i thought i'd all think of it on the way home but i also do think i think deb's is gonna get to have a little a boyfriend with her boxer boy Yay, cool yeah i, I think so that. too they, they, they seem age appropriate and i think and they will have she... consensual sex <laughs> yeah <laughs> she won't rape him <laughs> no <laughs> no she won't i think it'll be good for her too mm-hmm. All right, awesome. Nothing else you guys want to no, add? No, good show. I think that's All it. Right. Yeah. Well, I think that's it for our, our um, after show for Shameless, episode five. Uh, catch us next week on uh, After Buzz TV here on YouTube. Again, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel so that you know you can get updates every single week. We have other great after shows on this channel as well. Also, follow After Buzz on SoundCloud, uh, Twitter, all that good stuff. We got I all too. the social media covered. <laughs> um, and then in the meantime, you guys can talk to us as well. JJ, where can everybody find you? You guys can find me at JJ Jurgens on Twitter, Jurgens JJ on Instagram, and I have a blog at TomGirl.tv. 
And then you can find me on Twitter at Haley Clover and also on Instagram at Haley Clover. Cool. And you guys can find me on Twitter and Instagram at J-A-J-O-U-R-I and on the Walking Dead after shows on Sunday nights and Gotham on Monday nights and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. when it comes back. <laughs> good for you. Guys. Every night. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. Have a good night. Goodbye. Buzz you later!